A presentation of AIT. This story began when my family moved into a new house. I've got my own room now, and Mom says I can decorate it any way I want. I was a lot younger when my mom decorated my old room. What should it look like now? I just don't see what to do. So what did you do in music class today? Mr. Garcia played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the piano. He did? Yeah, and during the song, he had us close our eyes and think of pictures in our minds. Wow. I thought about lying in the desert looking at the stars. Wow. Why did you think of that? Because when we lived in Phoenix, you could see the stars so clearly at night. I pictured riding inside a spaceship to a faraway star. You know what Mr. Garcia did with you today? What did he do? He taught you about visualizing. He did? Yeah. Yeah, visualizing is when you make pictures in your mind about what you're learning. Today, in the Reading Center, we are going to do exactly that. So what I'd like you to do now is head on over to the Learning Center stand and see what we're up to today. I'm in Reading. So you are. Remember what Mr. Garcia did today in music class? Yeah. yeah. He had us close our eyes, right? And make movies in our mind about Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yep, yep. What's that called? Visualizing. Visualizing, right. Well, today we're going to read a story called Monsters in the Basement. I'm going to hand it out to you, but don't open it because before we begin reading, I want you to tell me what you visualize when you hear the title Monsters in the Basement. Like really scary and slimy things hiding in the basement. With big sharp teeth like raptors. And lots of slime. Lots of slime. Or they could be friendly monsters. Friendly? friendly? I never thought of that. Well, not all monsters are scary. Mine is like a giant teddy bear. He helps me do stuff around the house. Like the last time I had to rearrange my beautiful seashell collections. Lizzie, excellent visualization. I really like how you pictured your monster in your mind. Lizzie had a different visualization than Emmett and then Colin. So why do people have different visualizations? Why do we visualize different things? What do you think, Colin? Because we're all different people and we have different minds. Different people, different minds. Can you tell me more about that? Well. Is our parents are different, and some of the stuff that we like came from them. Yeah, you're right. We all are different. Today, we are going to read the story, Monsters in the Basement, and what I'd like you to do is really try hard to visualize what you're reading, okay? And the name of the rat group was the Monsters. They're not real monsters. I'm disappointed. You too. No slime? No slime at all? I feel cheated. How about you? Oh, they're a band. I like music more than monsters. Don't you? So what did the monsters look like? They weren't monsters at all. Yeah. They are a rock band called the Monsters, and they practice in the drummer's basement. And it was all a play the school is performing called Monsters in the Basement. Oh, so we got fooled. Yeah. yeah. It was about this boy named Josiah who wanted to be in the school play. But he didn't get the part. I was getting to that. He didn't get the part. Oh, OK. He wanted to be the drummer in the band because he could really play drums. I think he didn't get it because he was too nervous. Why do you say that? The book says that his voice was shaking when he read. Oh, I like how you looked back in the book for that and remembered that from the book. Would any of you be nervous for a play? 
Definitely. Not me. I knew you wouldn't be, Lizzie. Let's see how the author tells us that Josiah was feeling nervous in the story. Turn to page 189. It's about the fourth paragraph down. Josiah squirmed in a chair in the huge auditorium, waiting for his name to be called. Everyone else looked calm and confident. Josiah's heart thumped. He felt like jumping up and running away until he couldn't run anymore. But he sat still. After reading that, I'm picturing a really nervous Josiah. Were there any words in the passage that tell us how Josiah feels? He was squirming in his chair like this. It wasn't that bad. He's not a worm. It was more like this. I think Emmett's way of visualizing is more realistic. If Josiah squirmed too much, people would stare at him. And he sure doesn't want that. Mrs. Pingle. Yes, Camila? It also says that everyone else looks calm and Josiah wants to run away. He's really scared. His heart is pounding like this. Trent, I like your thinking. We're all using our five senses, touch, smell, taste, hearing, and sight to help us understand how Josiah felt in the story. Now, I have a question for you. Why did Camila say that Josiah didn't get the part? because he was nervous and his voice shook. That could be it, or maybe somebody else was just better for the part. I admire what Josiah did next. Yeah, the director asked him to help design the basement set for the play and he said yes. Which he shouldn't have because he didn't know how to do it. He didn't know how to do it. Wow, you're right. That would be a really hard task if you didn't know how to do it. Colin, would you mind reading that part that says that he didn't know how to do it? The day before the play, he sat alone in the front row of the auditorium. How am I going to do this? He wondered nervously. I know what my basement looks like, but what does this one look like? Josiah looked at the paper in his hand. The director gave the list of phrases, he thought. But it doesn't mention furniture or anything. I guess it's no use. I just don't see what to do. I just don't see what to do. I just, I just don't, don't see, see what, to what to do. I just don't see what to do. I shouldn't have gone through that game yesterday. I'll never get this done by tomorrow morning. I don't even know where to start. You can start with the list. Whoa. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You need more light in here. That's better. Who are you? I'm Trent. Well, sorry. I don't have time to talk now. They think I had this done and the play is tomorrow. Maybe I can help. Great, I'm desperate. So that's it. How can I design a basement when I don't know anything about it? But you do know some things about it. Like what? Well, you know that it's dark and moldy like a dungeon. How do I know that? Remember the list of phrases the director gave you about the basement? Uh, oh yeah. I really didn't look at that. The basement is not very cheerful. The windows are covered over, and it smells of mildew. Good start. Come on. You know the five senses, right? Sure. The five senses. Touch, smell, taste, sight, and sound. How does that help me? Let's start with sight. What would the basement look like? Well, it's dark, so they'll probably need some lamps. Maybe old stuff they borrowed or got at a garage sale. That could work. What else? Maybe a bucket on the floor that catches water dripping from the ceiling. Yeah. And some spider webs. Plus, maybe a little bit of slime. What? Nothing. You remind me of someone. What else? A hole in the drum has been taped over several times. So what does that tell us? Um, probably that they have old, used instruments. Man, I was going to give them a new kicking set of drums with four times and a cobra drum pedal. Well, whatever that is, I don't think they could afford it. What would they have? Something older. And probably all the other players would have beat up instruments too. Okay, now let's think about all the other senses. What we hear and feel. Trent? Trent? Ah, uh, this isn't that bad. <laughs> Whoa, and I'm gonna make the deadline. This is great. Yes. I'm safe. I just don't see. No, the list.
this is everything. If Josiah would just read the list again and use his five senses, he'd know exactly what to do. Hmm? Oh. Trent, what do you mean by that? Uh, because the director's list has descriptive words, just like the part of the story where Josiah is waiting for his audition. Of course, we haven't been thinking about this logically. The book doesn't talk about furniture, but it does describe some things about the basement. Yeah, I knew that all along. Hmm, maybe we should look at the director's list again to visualize what the basement looks like. And then we'll draw our own picture of the basement, okay? I want to see what we've all come up with. Let's share our drawings. Wow! They're all different, yet any one of them could be used to visualize the design of the basement. Drawing the picture will help me understand the story better too, especially the title. When you use your five senses to visualize, it really helps you get into the book. It sure does. Any other thoughts? And when I start to see and feel and hear everything that's going on, it helps the story feel more than just words. It helps it feel real. When I visualized the basement, it was kind of dark and creepy. And I heard the band down there making weird noises. That made me sort of think there were monsters in the basement. You all did an awesome job visualizing today. When you're reading, try to use your five senses to create the world of the story in your mind. It's fun and it helps you understand what the author is trying to say. Now our time is up, but for next time, what I'd like you to do is make a list of words that describe you. Then we'll use this list to create something that shows us who you are. It could be a poem, it could be a dance, it could be a song, it could even be a picture. Remember to use your five senses, and what do I want you to do? Visualize! My mom said I could pick out some new things for my bedroom, so I made my own list of words that describe me. Hey, Mom! Mrs. Pingle was right. Visualizing rock! Look like googly eyes. Let's go into the book. 